What's up YouTube, it's Onion Bomb here, and welcome back to another Breaking Bad reaction video. Today we're on Season 4, Episode 4, and I'm actually very excited for this one. I feel like I say the same thing every time I start a video, because I pretty much do, besides change the season sometimes, and the episode every time, because I'm always very excited, and I really don't know what to say sometimes for intros, but, uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited because this time, the way we sound excited this time is because Hank is reading the lab notes. We left off, Hank is reading the lab notes. Gail, this is his lab notes. One of Hank's friends gave him a copy and like as a kind of like a return favor because he got Marie out of trouble because she was shoplifting again last time for uh, home open houses and uh, that, uh, I don't know why she's doing that just to do it again and she has like a problem with that probably because uh, the Hank stress and tension. Um, what also happened is uh, we saw more Jesse kind of struggle and uh cope with shooting gail and uh we also got skyler and walter working together and a lot love skyler having a plan to uh, frame uh the car wash owner for having dirty water dirty soap something like that and uh to like, get into legal stuff and like he she was gonna sell it um and she did she bought it and they have the car wash now and now they have a good money laundering scheme still think the laser tag could have worked but that's neither here nor there they got revenge on the eyebrows guys so it's all good now that was pretty much last time uh let's get into it and see what happens now i'm very excited uh hopefully Ooh, let's see what Hank finds in these lab notes. Hopefully they showed that. They probably will. Let's get it. Oh, is that Mike? Yeah. Keys. No. No, no. Oh. Oh, shoot. Wow. Ouch. So oh, she's teaching blackjack. That's the night. For her no life. Back. Upon which I devised my own strategy, not dissimilar to the MIT system. Well, you're not teaching them. I thought you wanted me to be thorough. Just play. You're taking too long. What? You don't think it behooves me to be able to explain any of this? It behooves you to be a pro. That's all I'm saying. That's the fiction. So chop chop. Don't. Chop, chop me. Oh. Okay, let's see what I got. And 21. Mm. Let's go again. Walt. Well, it's not as if I don't know how to play. And I certainly more than understand how to count cards. You know what? I'm in recovery. Remember? I shouldn't even be playing. And that is the fiction that we should be sticking to. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I have to get our story straight. We're oh gonna be on the same page. Oh my god. Script. Bullet points. Season. We need this story to be solid and sympathetic and most of all completely believable. A story that you already told Marie and you think that she hasn't told Hank. Coming clean with Hank and June appearing to come clean. When I tell you the whole story, it's a doozy. So hold on to your hats. Do you like that? Sure. <laughs> them, and to get their sympathy right off the bat, we want them to understand why you could do something so stupid. Now, after that, per pages three and four, after you... Terribly, terribly ashamed of my actions. Yeah. Two terribly. It's 
supposed to show contrition. Yeah, well, I just wouldn't use that word. I, I would never say the word derelict. And why am I so ashamed? Do I really need to answer that? I was and am providing for our family. Troll, I mean, this whole thing makes me look like crap. It has I'm, I'm... to be a warts and all story, Walt. That's how we'll sell it, and we both look bad. Oh, well, I, how do you look bad exactly? Where is the I slept with my boss bullet point? I can't seem to find that anywhere. For a fired school teacher who cooks crystal meth, I'd say you're coming out pretty much ahead. I don't like it. I don't want Junior thinking less of me. At least you won at gambling. I'm just the bitch mom who wouldn't cut you any slack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I put you through all of this. How's that sound? Hmm? Yeah. Two sorries. Sebastian, you might look down at the floor with remorse. You don't have to mean it. Then uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I was thinking of taking Marie's hand and saying something emotional. Okay, like, yeah, this is too much. You know. It's such a relief to tell you. This is just so too suspicious to, to be too this, prepared. That we can all support as weird as that sounds. When you dab your eyes, you're gonna do it with your right hand or your it's left. It's just hand? an idea. One tear, two tears. How many? This has to be convincing, especially to Hank. I'm doing the best I can here, Walt. And yes, I'm thorough. Hey, 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 buddy, how you doing? Oh, look at my little princess. She's getting big, huh? And heavy, too. <laughs> cool. What, what makes it be all pink like that? Well, that's the manganese part, okay? It, it, it oxidizes, you know, like, uh, like rust. Things can have an oxidation state of between minus three and plus seven, which takes it through a range of colors, purple, green, blue. But its most stable state is plus two, which is usually pale pink. Exactly. Whatever the hell he said. <laughs> anyway, you, uh... Oh, hey, uh... Here, hey, give me that. Give me that phone, will you? <laughs> Let me go check this out. I, uh... He realized he was being... I've been working being... on stuff here. I've been a little, uh... A little consulting, uh, you know, uh, weighing in on a case for APD. Oh. <laughs> oh. Put that in. Is this the lab Put notes? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, it's a game! Are you sure? Drill is not convinced. But think of the board. The countdown starts. Oh, man. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Why are the subtitles in. My friend. Is Albuquerque's public enemy number one? It's a relief to finally tell you. We're just so glad that we have a strong family to help us through this. We can Walter H. White. He told a hidden talent. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. You're such a stud. How much did you win exactly? Oh. Dad? Why'd you quit? I can totally get a card for my birthday now. Right? I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Terribly, terribly ashamed of my actions. Would you excuse me, please? I need to use the restroom. Oh. Whoa. <gasps> no, 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 no. Ah. Sorry, I thought you might have fallen in there. Uh, no, no, uh, just, uh... Hey, man, that was, uh, that was some big stuff back there. You wanted to be thorough. <laughs> you know, uh, you ever want to bounce anything off me? I don't know, uh, casework, anything, really. Sometimes just talking something through, you know, really can make a difference. This is a oh. big-ass operation, you know. Hundreds of pounds a week, maybe more. He is talking as well. So, who is this person? What do you know about him? Well, other than the fact that he's dead in a Texas salad bar and has a decent set of pipes, 
say he's my guy. This uh, mystery man I've been, uh, been chasing for the better part of a year cooks the purest meth that uh, me or no. anyone else has ever seen. Wait. Goes by the name of Heisenberg. Oh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, pretty weird, huh? I, I, I looked him up. It's uh, it was one of these physicists, one of Hitler's guys, a physicist named Werner Heisenberg. <laughs> Real cute, huh? Anyway, I figured with a handle like that, you know, my guy's got to be some sort of a some sort of an egghead. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. About uh, phenylacetone cook, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty rare these days, but it, it does jive with the uh, the blue stuff I've been tracking. Two sticks dairy free soy margarine, two third cup turbinado sugar. <laughs> it's a recipe for vegan schmores. <laughs> Uh, uh, all kinds of crazy crap in there. You know, like, uh, you know, so we are right through it. Bicycles, the name Walter White shouldn't tips. be in there. All right next is, uh, to WW, my star, my perfect silence. <laughs> WW. <laughs> I mean, how do you figure that is, you know? Willie <laughs> Wilson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Willy Wonka. Walter White? Oh, no. Walter White. <laughs> Let me see this. On a mark. Learned. And from time to time looked up in perfect silence at the stars. It's a poem by Walt Whitman. Your WW. Uh, freaking brainiac. <laughs> oh, got all that Get one. That it kind of <laughs> didn't expect him anyhow. I'm chasing my tail about that one. Um, you think this Gale person? Is your Heisenberg? Yeah, I think so. Uh, God, what do we get this guy? Buddy, Tim says we got some fingerprints we're trying to ID. And I witness a uh, person of interest. Might get lucky there. And, uh, yeah, I think somebody knows something, though. Track down. Oh, there. no. Jesse! Oh, he's gone. Spirit. Oh, somehow. <laughs> I need to talk to you. He shaved his head? Gail's murder is being investigated. Uh, Bella. And I have it on good authority that they found fingerprints at the scene. Not mine. We done here? No, no, we are not done here. What if they are yours? How can you be so sure? Because I'm here on my prints. Within five blocks of that place, they would have picked me up by now. You see? Did you pick them up? No. Listen, we, we, we gotta go over this step by step. Everything important. Did you knock or ring? Knock or ring? Uh, knock. Good, good. That's very good. Now listen. Soon the gate will answer the door. Now what happened after that? Did he recognize? Let's make a hundred bucks. Yeah. Huh? What? And not worry that Gus plans to murder me at the first chance he gets? Should I not worry that my drug addicted partner doesn't seem to care whether he lives or dies? You should see his house. It's it's like Skid Row. He has actual hobos living there. <laughs> now, how long before Gus decides that he's too big of a risk? I got Mike, that grunting, dead eyed cretin, sucker punching me in the in the face, I've got Gus wielding a box cutter. I mean, Western Union, message received. How can I protect anyone? My family, Jesse, myself. Then my name never comes up with those guys. Meanwhile, <laughs> Skylar, I'm sure she believes, she needs to believe that everything is neat and tidy, and she's telling herself that I work in this nice, quiet little lab with a white lab coat and a pocket protector and when my contract is up i'll just simply hang it all up tip my hat and walk away how did everything get so screwed up yeah you do have a little shit creek action happening <laughs> this is a last resort back pocket kind of thing but if you really got to protect yourself uh, 
disappear. Who can make it happen? And call him a uh, disappear. Disappear. For a substantial fee. And I do mean substantial. You and your loved ones can vanish untraceable. I mean, off the grid. New identities, new everything. No one would ever be able to trace you. No. Be clear, this is an end game, if you get my meaning. I mean, there's no coming back. It's following Jesse now. Not good. This is Walter. What's up with your ear? Oh, it's him. Downstairs now. Oh, no. Where is everybody? I invited your guest to leave. You know who this is? No. You ought to. He's been at your house for three solid days. Okay. He stole your money. Oh. Okay. That seventy-eight thousand dollars or so look familiar? Oh no. Sir, you're gonna kill him. This is the part why I'm supposed to beg you not to do it. Oh, please, please, promise, cross my heart, to, like, straighten up and fly right or toe the line or some other crap on thin ice, you little shithead. You know that? You ain't gonna smoke that dude in there. You know how come I know? Because you went through the trouble of putting a blindfold on him. Oh, no. It's me. Wait for the thing. All right. This is message number three. You better be ready in two minutes, because I am right outside your door. Jesse! Oh, this is perfect. You are a piece of work, you know that? Oh. Hey, it's me. It's for, oh no, what happened? Where is he? season <laughs> that was season four episode four man that was a great one oh we got a lot that episode uh so okay so first mike is taking jesse somewhere nowhere good i don't what is walter gonna catch up what is walter gonna do is he gonna kill mike is he going to catch up does he even know where they're going he would talk to a camera i don't think he has voice unless unless Gus is gonna sell out Mike, say they're going here, and let nature take his course. Like Walter, go save Jesse, and just let let Mike die because he wants to keep Walter on because Walter keeps his business running, and business is one on one for for Gus, and it's gonna come back around to Mike, who should have listened to Walter to set up a meeting with with Gus so Walter could kill Gus uh, as Walter was gonna say he'd like, like it, it happened to Victor it can happen to you and how about it does happen to Mike but he, Gus tells Walter where Mike is taking Jesse Walter goes to where they're going and he kills Mike and that not not letting Walter kill Gus is gonna get him killed. That's very interesting. I think that might be where this is going, but I'm not sure. Um, unless they just completely shock me and kill off Jesse here or something else happens. I don't know what else could actually happen. But this is very interesting. I'm very excited to see what happens next. Um, and what happens with Jesse. He, man, he just, he doesn't care about anything anymore. After killing Gail, like, he's just kind of broken again. And it's so sad, almost. Because we always saw him broken once after Jane died. And, like, Jesse can't, like, catch, like, a break. I'm starting to really feel for Jesse. It's, it's, it's terrible. We got something that was so shocking. We got... Walt, Hank revealing to Walter that he he was after Heisenberg, which Heisenberg is him this entire time, and Walter's like, like like Walter has to just sit there and take it and not react. That's crazy. 
and then he did put W W. I knew there was gonna be something for that about Walter in that notebook in some way, shape, or form. Where it had Heisenberg ran in it, where it had the name Walter, or it had something like the initials. And it was the initials, but you know there was a word draw real. Well, some there was some W W name of the poem, and he put that together and. And so Hank didn't suspect him, or like I know they, he was joking around about it, which he sold that pretty well. Um, but um, probably not the best joke after you explain how you got a bunch of money though, and if you made an error in the story of the gambling. Ooh. But he did like completely like he did, he solved that for Hank, and uh, Hank thinks Gale was Heisenberg. Um, honestly, I don't know why because he doesn't really fit the description or like the boldness. I, yeah, I think Gale has like he's has a little bit of a bold. Uh, he has some boldness, but I think he has a decent amount of hair. I I, I don't know. Um, but hey, that gives Walter off the hook so far, unless you know, until the blue meth, which it will, gets found again because it's being distributed by Gus. So yeah, I don't know, that was very that was such a moment though when uh, Hank was talking to Walter about that case and revealed he was after him the entire time and and walter now knows that hank was on the trail that's crazy and hank knows the name heisenberg walter knows that too that is cool and they told the family about the gambling addiction which i think they bought it but it's kind of funny because um walter jr was like was like way to go dad uh, he was like uh, he found his dad cool and i was questioning like how would he feel about his dad making meth? Like, would he, like, uh, like respect it? Or would he, like, see him as a bad guy? Which, it kind of shows, like, he's respecting this. Would he respect meth? Or, with all the story Hanks told him, is he not going to respect it? So, that's just something to speculate. And maybe if we ever get a uh, reveal and Hank says, or Walter Jr. Re realizes that uh, he makes meth. And... I don't know. It's just so cool how Hank comes that close but never realizes it. And I always love that aspect about Breaking Bad because it's just like, as a viewer, it's just so almost like nerve-wracking and like just crazy to see and watch. And oh, he's like right there. Heisenberg is in the room with him if you think about it that way and he's been chasing him I don't know Hank still as he was in a wheelchair. He still can't walk. He he said to himself He wanted to be the uh, person uh, to take in Heisenberg. He was like what about the killer and that's how That's how Walter figured out that they, Jesse might be a target for not only the police but for Gus because he might be a target for the police So he's a risk as business as bit a business for Gus and that's what started this whole Mike is taking Jesse for a ride now. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll just I'll have to see how that happens next time. Um, I'm still uh, kind of the little thing I conjure up. I think Walter's going to come in and save the day again. I think Mike might die. And I think Gus might sell out Mike. And it's going to, uh, you know, like, M Mike trusting Gus is gonna be his downfall he's gonna sell him out maybe I'm wrong Mike seems like a very loyal of course loyal but he also seems like a very good like not good person but like good at what he does I, I don't he does a lot like he's like a hitman kind of thing he's uh, like the cleaner uh, well not a cleaner but he like he makes he hides evidence and stuff so he, he's an asset, I think. I don't know if Gus would just be willing to get rid of it like that, but you see how kind of easy he slit Victor's throat, and he seemed very loyal, too. I don't know. I just think it would be interesting that uh, the thing Mike was, like, try, could have got out of it. Could, he could have betrayed Gus, but he chose loyalty. Yeah, it's gonna be, It would be interesting to see that Gus not give him the same fa thing. And betray him and Mike not teaming up with Walter pretty much kill him. definitely gonna be interesting to see um, and you man is the future is gonna be cool like is this like will Hank ever like his Hank is kind of done now because he think oh 
temporarily done because he thinks Heisenberg is dead. He is in a wheelchair still. He can't walk. So, hey, they really put Hank on a hiatus for the whole DEA thing. But I feel like it's going to pick up. However, I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon or this season. So, that, that's just something I think we're putting a pin in right now. And uh, we're now they're shifting the focus over to Gus and Jesse and Mike and all this. So, that's going to be interesting to see next episode and the hank stuff is gonna be interesting interesting to see for the future gonna be good but for now guys that's gonna do it for me so thank you guys so much for watching like or dislike subscribe or don't subscribe and it's up to you i will see you guys in the next video you watch with me good boy wanna tango i can feel him try to grab me by the ankles i can hear him all start to say my name oh. But it's not about the money or the fame, no No, it's all about me just doing my thing, yo Cause I'm loving what I do and I won't change, no I feel blessed I could do this every day, yo